Hi guys, welcome back to my Sophie Kitchen and my YouTube channel. This is Shells from Shell Spa Products. And today I'm going to do a soap called Coffee House. It's from Rustic Essentials. And it has pretty much, uh, let's see, it has quite a bit of vanillin in it. Um, let me see how much. Um, but I did use some vanilla stabilizer in this batch, so I'm going to use a couple of different colors. Coffee House it has 8.2% vanillin. Um, and this fragrance rate has, uh, fragrance, sorry, this fragrance oil has a really low usage rate. It's only 0.1%. Um, so I did add um, some a, a different fragrance oil as well um, with a coffee scent that had a little bit higher usage rate. But um, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys too. I know there's a lot of um, videos circulating around about um, usage rates and all that kind of stuff. So I'll just share with you guys what I do to help me keep track of all of that stuff whenever I order, like whenever I did my Rustic Essential, like 40 cent haul, or 40 different cents, you know. And um, so what I do whenever I order any kind of fragrance oil is I have a book here. I'll just show you guys. It's just sloppy handwriting because it's just a book that I keep. But what I have in here is like the fragrance oil and then I have like... Um, I can't even read upside down. Um, yeah, I just kind of write a little description if I can't remember what it smells like, but then I write the vanillin content and then um, how much the usage rate is inside here. And that way, some of them have no usage restrictions. Some of them are not body safe at all. So you just want to go through and make sure that you don't have anything that's not body safe that you're using for soap because... I ordered some, when I did my um, haul video, I had like different fragrance oils. And so as I went through and, you know, wrote down all my stuff for those, um, some of them are for candles because they're not body safe. So I don't want anybody to think that I got those, uh, some of those fragrance oils to use in soap. Um, I had wished that some of them were body safe, but, um, you know, you you can always use things in candles or other things if you know but if it's not body safe it does not belong in soap that's for sure but i just thought i would throw that out there because i think a lot of people um especially new soapers think that you know it's a standard like one ounce per pound or things like that and that's not always the case you have to check your usage rate and then multiply to get your um your weight on it so anyway i'm just putting that out there how i keep track of mine so whenever i'm making a soap Actually, mine are all listed alphabetically. I just flip through that fragrance oil and then I pull up all the information. Also, if I were making hot process, I would um, go ahead and put like the flash point as well so that I would know all that stuff. But since I'm strictly doing cold process, I don't really need to know the flash points because I soap at room temperature. So anyway, um, so that's just a little bit of information about how I keep track of um my fragrance oils and how much of each to use per soap so that I keep my product skin safe um, and things like that. So it's a pretty effective method. Um, each time I get new ones in, I just grab my book and um, go back to the website and look up all the information and jot it all down real quick. And then that way it's just right here whenever I'm ready to make soap. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the soaping part. Sorry if I bore you guys with all the details if you're not actually soaping you can skip ahead I understand how that goes um, okay so I've got my stick blender here I'm gonna go ahead and put in my um, pail and clay about a tablespoon this will end up being a three pound batch of soap and uh, I'm using my um, uh, mold here from bulk apothecary all right, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a quick buzz in there. Okay, I've got my lye water over here already. Everything's hanging out at room temperature because I made this stuff up about three or four days ago when I had some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here. I 
here. You know what? I forgot to go get, but I will measure that really quickly. And that is my cream. Actually, I'm going to pause you guys or edit this out, and then I'm going to go grab my cream really fast. All right, I am back. I'm going to go ahead and give this a buzz, and then I'll add in my cream. And that's just heavy whipping cream. doggy wants inside but oops but he's not getting inside because I am soaking Now I am going to pour off, oh, I didn't even talk about my colors or anything much really. Okay, so what I decided to do is I did use vanilla stabilizers in the soap, so I'm going to do some white, and then this is the, um, you guys can see that, this is the Copper Penny, and that one I believe is from Nurture Soap, yep, and then this one's Rustic Essentials. This one's called, um, let's see, Black Star Red, and it's, let's see if I you can see it but it's like a really really deep dark red color and then the white so um, I'm gonna try to do like a drop swirl maybe um, chopstick swirl at the end that's my plan I'm curious to see I did um, a soap last year it was pecan pie and I used vanilla stabilizer in that one that's the only soap I've ever do you know used that in and it worked really well my colors stayed and it was a tiny, tiny bit yellow, but other than that, it wasn't really, didn't take away from the colors. So I'm hoping that that works good with this one. So just pour some in there. And I want to have enough white left for the top too. So I've got my head thing on that side here. It could be pretty white too. Um, so let's see how that one does. Oops. Get that off. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. I just ordered a sample of this one because I wasn't sure if I would like it, but I think I'm gonna like that one. Okay. Go ahead and give, give these a blend. I will just go ahead and 
give this a little tiny buzz. Make sure it's mixed in because I've got the uh, fragrance oil and the uh, stabilizer mixed in together here. I mixed them a little bit ahead to give them plenty of time to blend in. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and just scent. my vanilla stabilizer at Brambleberry, I believe. Oh, wow, that smells really good. Coffee House is kind of like, um, it's that coffee scent where it feels like when you walk in, Oh, I don't know, your favorite coffee house, Starbucks, or wherever it might be. And that coffee that just, mmm, and you're like, oh, I can't wait to get a cup. And it just, mmm, that's how this one smells to me. Where I work, we have a Starbucks inside our building, so I'm pretty spoiled. But um, that smell is one of my favorite smells. say I'm spoiled <laughs> but it's nice it really is nice to have it and you know it's in the summer they have all the iced tea and stuff so. okay I think I'm gonna be ready to pour this Whoops. okay all right let me get my mold in here I'll try to put it closer to the camera I'm using a different table I'm going to get in there with some of this white. And I'm going to try to do like a thin, since it's so cold. Nice, oh, nice thin pour. My goggles are really steamed up right now. I have to pause and clean them up a little. Not as thin as it looks. Okay, let's try this one. I like to do just like as little. I won't swirl it if I can get really, really thin streams in there and lots of layers because um, I just think it looks really cool that way. But you want to keep trying to get a really thin, thin line as long as it cooperates. Well, I'm a mess today, guys. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> All right, let's try this guy again. smells really good honestly like it's interesting that the usage rate could be so low but then it still smells so strong so each fragrance oil is its own entity that's for sure I am so excited about the colors I hope the colors stay in this one you guys I can't wait to cut it, and I haven't even finished pouring it yet. <laughs> oh, I should mention too, I have right now filming this video 187 subscribers, um, and I am, I mean this from the bottom of my heart when I say this to you. I think each and every one of you guys who watch my videos, it just keeps me inspired to make soap. I love making it. And I just think it's fun to share. I watch a lot of people make soap. And it's just, for me, it's enjoyable and it's relaxing. It's inspiring to me to kind of get ideas of what other scents they're using or um, 
techniques for pouring and also just all the things that are going on out there. There's so much great things. So, you know, it's, it's enjoyable for me just to sit. It's not uncommon that I would sit and watch soaping videos for two or three hours. And then, you know, I'm just like, then I'm inspired. So, you know, I really wanted to get to making a lot of my fall soaps today because today's my day off. So this is fall soap number one for today. So I should have about five videos. This should be video one of five for today that I will upload as I get them edited. And um, I also have some um, soap balls. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them on top or if I'm just going to do like white dollops and maybe some coffee grounds. I've kind of got everything ready um, to just kind of see. So I'm going to put just a tiny drizzle of white in there. Not much. I want to keep it thin. And I don't think I'm going to swirl this one at all. I'm just going to leave it since it's so fluid. Um, mm -mm, no swirls in this one. I think it's going to do really nicely. Um, but being, going back to the subscribers, now I, I really do appreciate you guys. I didn't mean to get off topic, but, um, so I was going to wait until I had 200 subscribers to do a giveaway. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting that together because, um, I'll be filming a video, I guess probably today sometime, maybe tomorrow. Um, with all the details about that and everything. So um, I'm just really super excited that my channel has grown um, in the last bit. And so it's just nice, like I said, to know that you guys are interested. Um, I really appreciate comments as far as design and style or things like that, because I'm always curious what people like or don't like. I do get a lot of thumbs up, which I really, really appreciate. That helps me know you guys like certain things or, um, and that, but don't hesitate to leave a comment. I'm always up to hear what people think about um, things. And um, so, so I'm excited. I'm not quite sure exactly what's going to be in the giveaway. It's still a mystery. Um, but in my shop, I will tell you some of the things that I have. And um, I carry a few different things. I carry um, hot and cold process soap. I also have... Um, a couple of different kinds of bath bombs. I do, well, probably about three. I do like the regular bath bombs that are like bath fizzies. Then I also do um, like uh, bubble bath bombs, which have uh, sodium oral sulfa acetate in them and that creates the bubbles. And uh, so I do those, I do those in solid form and I also do those as sprinkles. Um, and so I'm actually going to do a demo video here coming up probably today about that. It'll be like a, a demo video of my bath bomb sprinkles, bubble bath bomb sprinkles. But um, just to show people kind of how they work and how much it takes to kind of get your tub um, going with all the bubbles and stuff. So uh, if they come in like a four ounce package and so you can kind of use it once or twice or three times or ever how many times you would like just depending on how much um, scent or how much um, ingredients you would like because every ingredients in the bath bombs are great for your skin in some way or other so um, but that's one of the things I have I also crochet so I have like um, dish rags wash rags I make bath poofs and um, oh gosh just different stuff like that I think I have hair scrunchies too that I've made that are cute um, but, oh, lip balms, that's another one. I haven't got on my candles too much. I do make candles, but I don't have any listed right now in my shop. But I want to put together a cute package for a giveaway because, like I said, I really appreciate the time that you guys take out of your day to come hang out for, like, 20, 30 minutes. So, you know, I will be filming that video very shortly. I will have in the title of that video, um, gosh, I don't know what to put in the title. It might just say like, it might just have giveaway in the title. That way you guys will know that that's the one to look for. My soap's not doing too terribly bad, considering how long I've been yakking and pouring. 
Um, I'm gonna let's see, can get slash to hold white. Seems like all the really good fall scents, like the pumpkins and that stuff, all have like a really high vanilline content. That's why they smell so yummy, I guess. <laughs> My doggy's still trying to get in. I really like this recipe size. I increased it by 25 grams of oil and then whatever the resulting other increases were due to that. And then uh, I really like that size. It seems just about right for this particular mold. I was using, um, I was using a 950 gram batch for this mold and I decided I could fit more soap in there, I think. That's what I did, is increased it a little bit on the calculator and recomputed all my stuff. Um, I will leave the recipe for this um, particular batch in um, the description box for you guys if you'd like it. Um, this recipe, I'll just tell you what's in it actually. Um, it has in it 30% coconut oil, 30% um, lard, 30% soybean oil, 5% cocoa butter and 5% shea butter. And it makes a wonderful bubbly bubbly soap. This recipe does. So in case anybody would like to try that recipe, there's that for you guys. Um, I'll leave it in the description box though in case anybody's interested in trying this recipe. I think it's a pretty good one. Um, I've got so many that I use from time to time that I have a lot of different oils from different times, so I just kind of use what I have on hand. And that was kind of what I had on hand for this batch. But I'm one of those people that, um, when it comes to lard soap, I love that soap. It's my favorite. I have used um, soaps with all different kinds of things in them, like, you know, rice bran and gosh, all kinds of fancy oils and things, but I have found that that's just my favorite one for some reason. So um, I tend to use lard whenever I'm soaping. It just makes a great um, addition to the soap. It makes your bars nice and hard. Um, I don't know. I don't have the properties of it like right here in front of me, but um, you know, each oil that you use lends different properties to your soap, so, um, it's interesting to see, you know, different things that people use for their soaps. It all depends on what you like for your skin, I think. I just like my soaps to be really, really bubbly, and the lard soaps that I make, it, with the coconut being at 30% and the lard at 30%. That seems to work pretty good for um, having a nice bubbly soap. All right, let me get the rest of this copper penny out of here. Hope you guys can hear this okay. I don't know what my camera's playing at lately, but who knows. I'm kind of making a mess, but I'm trying to drizzle this on the top here. It's more like on this color, but that's okay, because I'm going to kind of texture it. I just want to get the colors on there. Okay, so there's that. That, let's see, that makes 
extra it and then we'll see about um, whether or not I want to do the plate covers or not. Did not like the silk at all. Mm -mm. Let's just do one to have a nice pocket down the center here. Okay. And there we have coffee house soap. And I will bring you guys back for the cutting. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.